Hi everyone, my name is Brooke and today I have filmed a plan with me for September 30th through October 6th. Um, I apologize if you can hear my dogs. They are here and they are jingling. Um, so this is my first plan with me and you will also see my daughter who is also planning with me. Uh, she is abducting my stickers and not putting them back. So that's what we're working with today. Um, I wanted to do this fall spread this week. Lots of oranges, lots of yellows and pumpkins. Um, today I'm planning in my classic happy planner and I'm not sure the name of this planner. It was the one that had the seasons, all of the different seasonal themes on the bottom. So super cute, unless you don't want it to be themed at the bottom, but that's okay. Um, so for this plan with me, I used the Happy Year sticker book, which was new to me, um, but I think it's a couple of years old now. I also am using the Watercolor Goals, which just released in Happy Planner's new launch um, that happened just in September this year. And else did I use? Um, I used colorful boxes, the seasonal sticker book, and also some other ones. But you can see my daughter, she's putting her hands in and out. Also, forgive my setup of this video. Um, it is a little janky. You should see how many books I had propped up <laughs> to make a makeshift, like, I forget what those things are called. Tripod? Yeah. So, one thing I hate, I don't know if you guys have this seasonal sticker book, but the seasonal box stickers don't fit a, like a classic box. They want you to put a header, and I don't like headers, and they, I just don't like them. So, you can see here in a minute, I'm going to put some pumpkins down to cover that white space, because it was driving me crazy. But yeah, so this is my first video. I'm very excited. I love planning and I love the happy planner. Um, yeah, it's just one of my favorites. I like their, their theme and I like what they stand for and they have really cute stuff. It feeds my crafting addiction, but I don't have to craft that much, which is ideal when you have children. <laughs> So the sticker that I'm placing now is from the new watercolor goals, um, but I've noticed that Happy Planner is doing a lot of the pre-layered boxes, which are so nice because it's just one sticker. <laughs> you don't have to layer anything yourself, um, which I love. And then with these rounded boxes, I never know what to do with them. It feels so weird, but they're so cute, so I just kind of work with it. <laughs> Um, funny story about that yellow watercolor sticker. Yeah, my daughter took that. It, yeah, it did not live to see this plan with me. So here I am grabbing my Tombow Mono Correction Tape. Um, I really like it. It's easy to use. It's not the same color as the Happy Planner paper, but... It does the job. Put a sticker over it, you can't even see. Um, I will link it below for an Amazon link. I buy it in bulk because I have a real problem and I'm also a little crazy. <laughs> so this Happy Year sticker book is where I got most of the um, like decor stickers for this plan with me. It's really cute. I really love it. It has, for Christmas time, like Santa's riding llamas which I didn't know I wanted that in a planner, but I now know I do. So I'm really excited for that. <laughs> and, oh, I also used the Essential Planning um, sticker book. That's one of my favorite. It has really cute, just like daily um, stickers. So what I'm using now, and I showed it, it's just some like offset tweezers. 
um, or angle tweezers. I don't know. I'll leave a link below um, on Amazon, but I really like them for the little stickers that are hard to grab and like to rip. Um, this is a new sticker book that launched in the new release. It's the, oh gosh, the name is like so long, but it's one of the hundred page um, books. I'm not sure where it's available. I got the stuff from the Happy Planner website and they had like a 20% off coupon for your whole purchase. So um, I don't think the coupon is still valid, but I know that they have um, two other big sticker books at Michael's. They just aren't the rainbow one. I get so much use out of these little bullet points, the different shaped bullets dots. I don't know what you'd call them, but I actually keep them in my planner at all times. I have like a couple sheets of them because I use them so much <laughs> because I don't just plan for like pretty. I plan for function. Don't ask me if I get everything done, but I do try to plan to be functional. <laughs> That's my goal. Um, so right now I'm flipping through the essential planning sticker book which is one of my favorites right now um, I was looking for a weekend banner but they all had gold on them and I had gold in my spread last week and so I didn't want it again too much gold but right now I'm flipping through the watercolor goals book which I do like um, I probably would have got another sticker book if I knew that I if I like new now but I really enjoy it it has a lot of cute like accents so a lot of swatch marks and cute quotes so I know I'll use it I always use my sticker books don't worry there is not a sticker book that will go and used in this home that is not a concern of mine <laughs> love to know what your current favorite sticker book is. I mean, I'm not asking you to feed into my addiction, but I kind of am. Um, I have a lot of them. I can definitely do like a sticker collection video, but um, right now my favorites are definitely essential planning, colorful boxes, because I can't live without my colorful boxes. And I'm really liking any color story because they're all so cute and if you really wanted to you could just plan with like a color story sticker book so that's always nice if you're trying to be simple which today was not a simple day so that was not the goal um, I don't know if any other people do this but I always put my stickers on my rings <laughs> um, when I pull them out it's just like easy and I can see what stickers I want to use. So that's just a tip, something I like to do, and it works really well. I was so excited when I got that rainbow sticker book, the really big one, because it has so many colorful boxes in it. I mean, like there's circles, there's half circles, and those are some of my most used um, stickers. I have, I think I have three colorful box um, <laughs> sticker books, and they're all like partially used with pages ripped out. It's really bad, <laughs> but that's why I'm happy that Hobby Lobby and Michaels have their discounts because I would be in major trouble if they did not. So out of those three new releases for the Happy Planners big book of stickers, I definitely would recommend the, um, the rainbow. I think it's the most functional. 
So here I'm just going through and looking at my monthlies. Um, kind of seeing what's going on in our month. We've got church and I've got some women's retreat stuff to plan out. So I'm just going through and putting some functional boxes in. And yeah, I'm just kind of finishing up the process here. Also, my Apple Watch, I have like a case over it, so it is not as scratched as it looks. Don't worry. So this week, I don't have a lot going on. Um, I've got to pick my parents up from the airport, and I've got some, again, like women's retreat, church stuff, but I did put that peace sticker down because, oh man, my three-year-old is hilarious, but I just need to be calm <laughs> and peaceful because <laughs> she, I'm raising myself, so just say a prayer for me. I was just minding my business, planning, um, and then in this next clip, you'll hear the pharmacy, uh, the pharmacy, they called, they are so annoying, <laughs> they call all the time for my daughter, she has some medical stuff, but oh my goodness, and you can hear her vest, it's another medical thing, and then we were watching Mo Lang on Netflix, so shout out Mo Lang. This clip just makes me laugh because I found this cute sticker and I tried so hard <laughs> to find a place for it, but in the end, I just put it away. I couldn't even handle it. It just didn't work and it makes me laugh because I do that all the time. And then I'll be flipping through all my sticker books and I'll find like random stickers that don't go there, but I always know what happened. I would love to know how many planners do you guys have because I have so this classic is my like go-to I decorate it every week and I put all the big stuff and then like lists and things like that and I have a faith planner and then I have a school planner um, that I plan out like my daughter's homeschool and I'm a student as well so I plan out all those in the school planner um, but I just want to know how many planners do you guys use? That would be, what, three for me? And then I'm so excited for next year's planners, the 2020. So excited. I can do a video showing um, my setup once I get my new classic, but I'm pretty excited. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching my first video. If you have any constructive criticism, please leave it down below. I'm really hoping to get a better setup. This whole coffee table thing, not a fan. <laughs> um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. Leave a comment down below. And don't forget to check the description box. Thanks, guys.